Okay, welcome to another episode of Crit Hit Coffee Breaks. I'm Sean. And I'm Arlian. And um, so the second episode of Coffee Breaks is not going to be really about uh, talking about aspects of video games and stuff. It's going to be more kind of explaining to you guys what our like creative process is, what our format is. And sort of what we're doing with the channel, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Giving you guys an idea of why we do things the way that we do them. Um, So first we'll start with the interview, um, which is we're we're trying something. I I don't want to say new because it's been done. Everything's everything's been done before, but we're trying to do something outside of the norm when it comes to interviews um you know you see a lot of interviews on tvs where you know the interviewer gives a question and the interviewee gives a really concise quick answer and that's not really what we want we're, we're wanting or alternatively to... or alternatively what you get is an interview and then the answer you get is a really clipped down and controlled version of the answer that's entirely dictated by the person doing the interview. Right, right. And what, what we want to do is help to bridge the gap that exists between gamers and game developers and kind of show, hey, we're all people. Here's, here's what why they're doing what they're doing. Here's what they're interested in. Here's what they want to do. And we want to hear their story. And sort of that extra connection between also the fans and the developers. Because sometimes some of the things the fandom might be saying or thinking doesn't necessarily reach them. It just sort of gets lost because they have so much stuff that they're doing. Right. And so, yeah, yeah, we're, we're trying to show that, you know, hey, these are people too. They're just they're just like you. The only difference is they went out and made a video game. They're more talented. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. So yeah, that's that's so we we we've, we've had kind of a lot of comments that our interviews seem rambly, and that's that's by design. Like, we intentionally let the developers talk as as much as they want to talk, take as long as they need to answer, you know, the question that we ask. And if they divulge onto another topic, we, we, we let it go because we want to hear what they have to say and we want to bring what they have to say to the public eye. And that's and why the they... Secondary- yes there just uh chiming in there is we also just sort of want to give a little bit insight into the developers themselves as people it's again it's we showcase their games their process at times we talk about what got them into it but we're also sort of showcasing the developer themselves and so giving that sort of free range sort of chattery bits sort of gives a bit of insight not only into like their current projects but also into the person who's putting all that work into it well yeah yeah and it kind of creates we're we we we, it i feel like it allows allows us and has in the past given us more insight into why they've done the things that they've done in video games because shroud insanity those fucking yeah, spike traps yeah you can ask hey why did you use use you know love lovecrafty and imagery in your game and you know they can give you the real canned answer of i think lovecraft is cool or you know we could go that extra step and say well okay but why do you think lovecraft is cool and get their story why it interests them and you, you, I feel like you can go into a game with the ability to kind of look at it from a different angle now that you possess that that better understanding of, well, here's why the developer did it, you know, and you can still have that, well, here's why I like it, and it doesn't have to sync up with why the developer liked, liked it and did it, but you, you now know why and 
because yeah, we actually were having a chatter, for instance, with uh, the Salt and Sanctuary devs about the storyline, and they're reading the Drowned Tome, which is like the really big uh, compilation of like a bunch of story ideas that people <laughs> went. Like, yeah, you know, some of this is pretty spot on, some of this not so much. And it was interesting to hear they, them talking they, about like yeah, their personal they, lore versus. They also said once. Lore. It, they also said that in their personal opinion. Once you put something out into the wild ether of internet, it becomes everybody's property. Which is so definitely a nice way of looking it at it. It was kind of this really cool, getting that really cool perspective of, well, here's our thoughts on it. But yeah, their head canon. Yeah, but we love that people have taken and drawn their own conclusions, and we're not. They're not saying that your conclusions are wrong. They're just saying. Yeah, they're, they're not, not word of godding anything. They're like, you know what? These are some really interesting ways to look at it. Yeah. So, so it's stuff like that, um, and I feel like by letting them ramble on, go long on the answers to the questions we get those added little tidbits that we might not have gotten if we just kind of pinpecked answers. And kept it really sort of short and sweet. Uh, The secondary thing that we were going to be talking about was the format for our reviews. We're actually currently uh, testing out a few formats. We've tried the solo one, but at the same point, and that's mostly just because there are games that I've specifically played far more than Sean has or wasn't able to get into, and likewise for Sean. Yeah. Uh, we are leaning more towards the idea, however, of having our reviews be, if we can help it, at least two people. Since it gives that sort of clash of views, we might both like or dislike a game for some of the same points even. I might like a certain feature of it, Sean might hate it, vice versa. Yeah. We might both like certain elements and dislike other elements, but it gives a clash of opinion and, and sometimes an agreement. And overall, it gives a bit more, because we both look for similar things in games in that we are gameplay central people, but we l- approach games differently. I'm like extremely mechanic oriented and a lot of background stuff. No. Number crunchy. <laughs> yeah, but you're also more. I'm more of a gameplay first, story second, and you're more willing to. I'll be forgiving, but I will not tolerate a game to, that's trash. Yeah, you're more willing to forgive a game if the story is really, really good, whereas I'm like, yeah, the story was good, but. You know. Where's I mean, the if the story is really, really good, it will make up for it but i can't sit through some of these jrpgs i've tried i tried and just couldn't and if a game is crap gameplay and a terrible story i'm gonna dunk on it just just i'm gonna um we're also going to be potentially pulling lovey and shrimp into these down the line though work in progress work in progress the, the, Shrimp the, microphone the, right now sounds like a uh, trash barrel at the bottom of the ocean being kicked along at high speeds. The, the the main thing is that for the most part, um, for the exception of yeah, when when we're, when the rest of the team's like, I literally have nothing to say about this game, or just happens, haven't been able to get into it, which like happens. hack really my jam but less yours yeah it, it's it, when those situations arrive it'll it, the reviews will be just one of us but for the most part we're gonna really try to always have at least two people on a review giving dual perspectives and you know just kind of not necessarily having a debate but just you know so that's into- probably going to end up happening at some point <laughs> right but yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving just two points of view to have that little extra, you know, yeah, all this all this works, all this is really good, but, you know, maybe the second person on the review didn't like it, and here's why. You know, yeah, which uh, I believe there's actually going to be a bit of that over in uh, Phantom Breaker, actually. <laughs> oh, 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 what what Lovey has to say about that game's story. <laughs> uh, um, but 
that's neither here nor there. Uh, the big thing is right now we're working on format for how the actual reviews are going to be presented with two people, just because we're trying to yeah, really so hit that fluid point of getting the so information and uh, getting yeah, lost. As, as, as the reviews come out, they're probably going to change and change, and they're probably going to continue to change as we figure out what works, what doesn't work, and the best ways to streamline our delivery and, you know, of course, always listening to you guys and trying to see, hear what you guys say about what you liked, what you didn't like, so that we can work that into our videos to make sure that we're bringing out the best possible content that we can give you. And also, just in the background, while we're doing all this and the coffee breaks, we're also still going to be doing uh, YouTube videos. They're going to be uploaded to the other the Let's Play videos. They're going to be uploaded to the other channel. But yeah, at the end of the day, we are actually going to be heavily tweaking things sort of based on the input that we get. So it is actually really important that we hear back from you guys in the comments and just that you have subscribe and like just so we actually have an idea of what's getting watched and what isn't right right um and then the coffee breaks i know our first two coffee breaks have been kind of not related They're to fine. gaming there has been kind of behind the scenes stuff um the next the next there should be a nun coming soon that's actually quite gamey super so, gamey from, from here on out the coffee breaks are should become yeah us talking about video games aspects of video games genre just basically here's the question let's let's discuss it and so and remember guys you can totally provide questions yeah but so. um, they should be mostly game oriented that said um, I will probably like like there will be points in time where I'll be like you know behind the scenes thing we should go and touch on this. And then drag Sean into a cold, dark room and be like, we're going to go and do work now. And he'll be like, ugh, fine. And we'll get an episode like this to sort of yeah, let you get well, to this, Because, yeah, this, this is our platform. Coffee Breaks are our platform to give a less formal analysis on our thoughts and tastes and opinions when it comes to video games. Yeah, seriously, when we get to like a hundred videos posted on this channel, we're actually going to do a coffee break that's an intro of us. Yeah, 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 definitely. Spoilers. We're gonna... Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. We, I, let's, not, let's not talk too much about that so that it can still be kind of... Nah, that's cool. not. That, I'm just saying it here. So if anyone like goes back and listens to this, they'll be like, oh, wait, this is happening. And there, then, um... it's now been foreshadowed. Then, yeah, it's like you said, it's also our platform to say, to be able to come on and say, hey, here's what's going on with the channel. Because we eventually really hope to be able to do charity events. We really hope to be able to go to conventions. And this is going to be, Coffee Break will be our way of being able to say, hey guys, we're going to be at this convention, you know, from the from these times to these times doing this or that, or hey guys, we're going to be doing a charity event to raise money for this cause or that cause, you know? Um, that, and I also occasionally do QA work for games, so it's always good to actually get feedback from games I might have been involved with if you find something broken, because hey, maybe I'll actually be able to, because some of these bugs just fall underneath people's, you know, eyesight and everything. Right. Just does get noticed. And so, yeah, like, we just break games. It's just a knack we have. <laughs> and that's why I get hired as a QA. And, uh, yeah, again, it's just like a thing that if you guys have comments or inputs on stuff we've covered, then definitely, like, get to us with that because it's stuff that we might even be able to use for that, too. All right. So, um, yeah, um... That's, I think that's pretty much all we needed to say. Pretty much, actually. Um, we so don't are- forget, we are still doing Let's Plays. That's on the other channel. Um, we'll, we should have um, some more reviews 
uh, coming up. We're definitely going to have at least two interviews that I know of coming up very soon. Mm, um, we need to get the Let's Plays done for those. Yeah, and so, yeah, we do, we, we've we got content in the works. It's just, we, we got to get it done. We got to knuckle down and do the work. And adjusting to a new editor who, as I've mentioned before, Shrimp, and also paddling Sean's computer because it's been a very bad boy. Freaking internet dying on you for a week. Sadness. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody vandalized the main uh, cable box on the property. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, I, I, that wow. Sucked. Um, so yeah. But, uh, like I said before, like, comment, subscribe, and for those of you actually who watched this to the end, thank you. Yeah, it's actually sure. highly appreciated. Well, and as always, yeah, definitely leave leave your comments in the comment section. We do read them. We want to hear what you have to say. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you folks take care.